Hello everybody and welcome, Johnny Jans here and I'm coming to you from inside the Wizarding World Hogsmeade Edition Islands of Adventure today and I am feeling hungry and when you're here in the Wizarding World if you're hungry like a wizard there's no place better than eating at the Three Broomsticks. Also I welcome you all to day number 97 of this thing that I'm doing. So grab your fork Grab your wand and let's head inside and do some. Hand ring around. Just outside the three broomsticks. And look at the facade. It looks just like it's ripped from the movies. Even's got the antlers on there. Now, if you do not have a reservation, I don't even think you can make reservations for this place here at the three broomsticks. You have to wait in line and we got quite the formidable line today just to get inside. But hey, I'm hungry and I'm excited, so it's worth the wait. Also just want to point out, we actually have three broomsticks on this three broomsticks restaurant. So it's accurate in the shape of a triangle and it's almost looking like very Deathly Hollows thing like. I wonder if that's on purpose. It's a sign. All right, we are inside the three broomsticks right now, and it is quaint, and it is cramped, and it is comfy. Is that a spaceship? How does a spaceship get in here? That's nuts. But look at the coziness that is the three broomstick route. We're also kind of outside the hog's head, which is the bar right there. You can tell from the hog as I pander around <laughs> with my camera here. And there's the three broomsticks area there and it's the entire sitting and it's actually it's kind of a sit down because they kind of snag a table for you and then you can just order right here at your table. Take a peek awesome. and see what the facade looks like from the roof here. And it looks like something straight out of the movies. I feel like Harry the first time that he walked in here on his adventure to Hogsmeade and got a cold butter beer. That'd be cool if there was characters walking around the planks up there, that would be pretty neat. There seems to be quite the array of antlers on the walls that would make Gaston pretty jealous, I think. They have quite the collection, very formidable. And then, oh, there's more antlers. Yep, Gaston would be jealous. This place has got his uh, tavern beat by a lot. I like being in the hog's head part better because it gives me this awesome picture of the hog back there behind the drinks. How cool is that? Look, he's animated. He's like begging me to get a drink. Should I get a drink, Mr. Hog? <laughs> no response, okay, fair enough. So I'm ordering myself a classic butter beer right from the tap, approved by the Hog himself. He's excited, oh, look at him. Oh, he likes to be pet. What a good hog he is. <laughs> That's awesome. And here we go, classic, original, Butterbeer goes down smooth and you can tell because it's got the logo on it, too. Cheers Mmm, it's a good butterbeer Check this out in the corner here. They have the display of different entrees Right next to the wood for the fireplace, but these are all the different things that you can get here in the three broomsticks You have this beef pasties platter that sounds awesome the spare ribs platter looks delicious. Different ice cream back there, fish and chips, very popular. A giant turkey leg, it looks medieval. And what else we got? We have, you can get the great feast, and that's just like a little bit of everything. Feed the whole family right there. The great feast salad it comes with. There's another chicken ribs platter, or the rotisserie smoked chicken, yum. And that looks like a chicken type salad, but the sign fell over. And of course, shepherd's pie. And then for dessert, we got apple pie and a chocolate trifle right there. Delicious. And I like how they spread it out so you can choose really what you want based on seeing it before you go here and order. And then you just order right over here too. Or you can order at your table. You decide your magical experience. And just want to note one more thing. Look, they got wizarding menus right here that come to life right before our eyes. It's like magic. 
now our food has arrived. You can tell by the spaceship right here. Parked next to a platter of fries for Junior Jans. Yum. It's out of this world, get it? And then we got the kids' mac and cheese. And this wonderful salad, that chicken salad that the sign fell over. Well, I got it. How fun. Top it off with a pumpkin juice fizzy. Delicious. All right, I'm gonna try this fizzy pumpkin juice. Never had this before. Let's give it a shot. And we have a spaceship, because why not? Whoa. Wow, that's a that's a serious kick to the mouth. It's not bad. It's not good, but it's not bad. Very strong, very strong flavor of pumpkin. It's like you took a pumpkin pie in a blender and liquefied it. Mmm. <laughs> it's weird. Definitely weird. I'm gonna try my salad now too. This is gonna be fun too. The salad is very refreshing. I like it. Just want to point out, as this spaceship crosses my screen, um, out here on the balcony, you could enjoy this awesome view of the Velocicoaster right in Harry Potter's backyard. So that's cool. And you could actually sit out here if it's too crowded inside the Three Broomsticks. There's this whole patio section where you can just enjoy a little bit of space. <laughs> and a screaming roller coaster. All right, well, there it is. Here's my review of the three broomsticks. Uh, the food was all right, but the experience was a little better. You get that authentic Wizarding World Harry Potter experience. Plus, it's enjoyable to get a sit down restaurant here, too, so you can just take a break from the heat. It is a very crowded in there, and that's in part because when they designed this, JK Rowling wanted the authentic wizarding experience and not a standard theme park size restaurants and gift shops. So we add that too. And also that pumpkin juice, it did get better the more I drank it that I appreciated it. And I also appreciated the fact that it was only $4. It was way cheaper than any of the other drinks and butterbeer. So that made me very happy. And when you drink it, it kind of feels like fall. It makes me feel like Halloween's right around the corner. So that was exciting. But that's going to do it for me. Thanks for joining me here at the Three Broomsticks. And until next time, I'm Johnny Jans. And as always, I'll catch you out there. Hand ring around. Located right outside of the restaurant, have you seen this wizard? And I'm not talking about myself because you see the reflection in the glass. Yeah, you can see. It's serious black, but the camera and the sun is not cooperating. So. To answer the question is no, I have not seen this wizard because I can't. See a little gems though. <laughs> nice.